Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are gonna to put together my perfect crispy pan fried fish with a golden crust and a juicy tender inside. How are we gonna achieve these perfectly golden brown fish fillets? We're gonna use a heavy skillet. I am using a cast iron skillet. It doesn't have to be a cast iron skillet, but you do need a heavy pan to achieve these perfectly golden brown fish fillets. So if you're looking to make a meal in 10 minutes, come on and hang out with me. Let's get started. Let's take a look at our ingredients. Okay, as you can see, I have three foil pans. I have one with my stuff rising flour, and I have the other with my panko breadcrumbs. And now we're gonna just crack our eggs, and we're gonna use only the egg whites. So we have removed all our egg whites and now it's time to season up our flour, our panko and our egg whites. So you want to put about a half a teaspoon each in your flour and your panko and just about a fourth of a teaspoon in your egg whites. And yes, y'all see it, that's my saison. You know I gotta have it in there. Put it in your flour and your panko. And we're just going to give it a good mix both your flour and your panko. And guys, using these foil pans is gonna make cleanup even easier. Once you're finished dredging your fish into your pans, you can toss them into the trash. And then, that's an easy cleanup. Kudos. It's time to get our eggs all mixed up. We want to make sure your seasoning is well incorporated into your egg white. And then we're going to go in with about two tablespoons of heavy cream. We're going to get that well incorporated. And we're going to put that into our third um, foil pan. And we are ready to start dredging our fish and get it prepared for cooking. I have one last ingredient to add to this, and this is optional. I'm gonna add some cracked black pepper just to heat things up just a tad. It's time to start coating our fish. We're using whiting today, and we're going to start by placing the whiting in the flour. We're going to get that all mixed up. And as you can see, we're not putting any seasonings on our fish. All our seasonings is coming from the dredging. So first off, we're going to put it in the flour. Then we're going to re get it well coated. And then we're going to place it into our egg wash. And this is our egg white with the seasonings. Get that well coated in there. And from there, we're gonna to go to the panko. And as you can see, we're not losing any seasoning. Yes, it's a messy job, but it's all worth it. So we're gonna get that well coated. And I have a lined cookie sheet with some parchment paper. And we're gonna go ahead and place that on there and let it rest. And we're gonna continue on. Guys, I certainly hope you are enjoying the video, and I hope you find it very informative. 
If so, give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I really do enjoy bringing you these videos. This is definitely a love of mine, the love of cooking, and I try to keep it very simple. Ingredients you can find anywhere, even at the Dollar Tree. Okay, let's continue on. When you finish dredging all of your fish, we're not going to fry this right away. You got to be patient. Be patient. We're going to have to let this rest in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes or you can put it in the freezer for 15 minutes. We have to let those flavors marry together before it meets the oil. So in the meantime, Go ahead and heat your oil. Today I'm using vegetable oil. You can also use peanut oil or whatever oil you have on hand. But I'm using vegetable oil today. Go ahead and get it heated up in your pan. Put it on low and it will be absolutely ready in 30 minutes. Because as you know, it takes a cast iron skillet a little time to get hot. Wait is over. We have removed our fillets from the refrigerator and now it's time to add them to our hot oil. Remember to keep your oil on low and we're just going to take it up to like a medium heat once we get our fillets in. And we're going to let those fry about four minutes on each side. Time to take up our fish. So I have a cookie sheet with a wire rack and this is how I'm going to drain my fish. I like to use this method opposed to the paper towel method because it keeps your fried foods from getting soggy. I'm going to go ahead and finish frying up the rest of my fillets and then we're going to plate. Can you say crispy on the outside and tender on the inside? That's what I'm cutting into. This fish is absolutely perfect. It is delicious. I certainly hope you give this a try. And I'm pairing mine today with some garlic and herb mashed potatoes. I certainly hope you give this recipe a try. And it was absolutely my pleasure to bring to you my perfect pan fried fish. Please leave me a comment down below. Let me know how well you enjoyed this recipe. And leave me some tips that I can use on future recipes. And guys, may I add, this fish warms perfectly the next day. I usually like to just pop mine into the air fryer just for a little bit and let it crisp up. It, it is just like it came out of the pan. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today. And I hope you learn a little something from um, watching my perfect pan fried fish. And until next time, 
keep life simple and I will see you in the next one. Bye.